John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1.1 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word. The Word, as we know, is the Logos. And before the universe was created, it was just God the Father, the Holy Spirit, and the Logos. There was nothing physical, for the physical universe had not even been made yet. But once the universe was spoken by the Word into existence, and time, space, matter, and energy were made, then the physical world was created, and that is when we had the beginning, the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, and from then we've seen billions and billions of people. But it did not happen until the virgin birth of Mary when the Logos and the immaterial, incorporeal uh, form that he was in entered into the virgin Mary and became the God-man, the Lord Jesus Christ. So the Logos uh, is the Word and the Word is the logos but because the logos is was not then born uh, in the past at the birth of our lord and savior jesus christ the word is now jesus christ and the scriptures so the logos the word went from an immaterial formless uh, uh form now into a physical form which is the Lord Jesus Christ who came to die for the sins of mankind upon that cross and also it, the word is in the scriptures it is the word of God the holy scriptures by which we can know that all truth comes from because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the word is complete and entire truth there's nothing imperfect about it. It is perfect and pure because truth is truth. Nothing can trump truth because whatever truth is, is that which is declared and cannot be changed or diverted or chastised. It is simply perfect in its nature. And the Lord Jesus Christ was that walking on this earth. He was the word in physical form by which men saw. He was perfect. He did not sin, though he was tempted in every way that man was. And he's able to relate to man because he went through that. But he also, every time he spoke and acted and did, he it was all done in truth. He would speak the truth of scriptures. From him would come other truths that were not known by mankind in previous uh, generations in the Old Testament because it was the physical form of the Lord Jesus Christ that was the Word and the Logos and He was the truth bearer and truth presenter to the world and it's by Him and only through Him that we can be saved. And so it's an exciting thing to know that this book is not just some book off the shelf. It's not just another Christian book. It's not uh, an apologetics book or a deep philosophical book only. It is truth entirely, and it comes from the throne of God because God, in his omniscience and sovereignty and his spoken word, spoke through the prophets leading up to Jesus' birth, but he also spoke through the disciples and the apostles and wrote his holy word through them by giving them exactly what needs to be said. And that's why even today we can see certain Christian books. Uh, certain ones are much more deeper in the faith. There's more meat than milk. And there's much more truths and deeper revelations. Because it comes from those who speak uh, for God because they have spent time and have prayed to God. And so likewise, the word is truth, and the more we spend time in the truth, the more we are able to understand God's mind and understand him more and, and live like him more because the word is God and the word was God, and it was in the beginning. And if we get into the word that has been presented in, the physical, in this physical life by believing in the physical God-man, the Lord Jesus Christ, who now is sitting at the right hand of the Father, and by reading the physical scriptures of this spiritual book that is not just merely words but has deeper truths and revelations, the more we dive into it and the more we genuinely desire to know more about God, the more we can live in truth. And it's only because of the Logos and the Word that was with God in the beginning and is God to this day, even though it's taken a different form, it's still the entirety and perfect and pure truth. 
So may we give praise to God for sending his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins, that we can enter into a living relationship and begin to learn and understand the mysteries of God and the deeper hidden truths of his word.